June, I'll go for your number eight, darling. Thank you, June. Sorry. A lot of, a lot of sucking. Yeah. Right, guys. Okay, comfortable. How are you feeling, Rich? Uh, not too bad, mate. Positive for you. Not sure what's in the box today. I'll go. I'm sticking with Richard, number five, please. No. Rich, away you go. Good luck, mate. Yep. <laughs> Who's got Penny? Who's got Penny? Buzz. <laughs> Thank you, Buzz. We would love a blue. Here we go. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Good luck, Lofty. Cheers, I hope it's blue for you. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> I couldn't quite see that. Was that another under your breath, come on? I'll give you it. Come on! Yeah. Let's not peek it, uh, let's not peek it. Let's not get no. it. Oh, hey, oh. <laughs> Come on, son. <laughs> Here we go. Hello, good afternoon, banker. <laughs> go on. Oh. He thinks you're one of the best contestants we've ever had, and he's yeah. really been looking forward Thank to you. it. Thank you. Really been looking forward. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. He appreciates that. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. So he sees you as highly influential, pivotal within the group. He's really seeing this as a group activity. And he thinks if he breaks you, then he will continue to have a wonderful run of games because the rest will be completely leaderless and demoralised. So, £9,400. <laughs> One, one of the highest opening offers we've ever had. Oh, I didn't need that now, did I, this early? It's not good enough, though, is it, babe? Not yet. I think you can go on. A lot of money just turn away, though, that would. I know. I can go on. I promised myself, I said, I won't... I won't crawl or creep to banker, but that, is, is, is been, that was absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? Yep, absolutely. That was absolutely brilliant. I'm ready for the question now. £9,400, Lofty. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> Come on. Ding, ding. Yep. <laughs> Seconds out. <laughs> the gorgeous duo, number nine. Thank you, Joe. Keep us on track, please. It's a blue. Good luck. Thirty-five thousand. That's a bit of a blow. Honest. Go on, Colin. Give us your insight. Five elephants in this box, Lofty. <laughs> Honestly, it is just astonishing what goes on in their world over there. Rom? Yeah? Still going with him? Yeah, still with him. Please, Colin, please. OK, Colin, could you please reveal a very low sum of money for us? 
Thank you. Yes. That's a fantastic card, isn't it? Yep. Let's keep it going. One more. Come yep. on. One Don't more. touch one of those four, and we're okay. One more. One more. Think blue, guys. Yep. Think blue. Louise, number 11. Louise? Do you think Please. this is going to be good? I really don't want to comment. I just thought we all knew our Positivity. Do you think it's, it's going to be good? It's blue. Do you think it's going to be fantastic? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> and then, Louise, if it's that wonderful, it'll wait till after the break. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all. Hi. Welcome back to Lofty's Game. Lofty's Game is better known as the big... Come on! <laughs> <laughs> and that is what he will do if, Louise, you do not reveal... 50,000, 75,000, 100,000, or the quarter of a million. Go. There's no way, Steph. 50,000. Pruned one off the bottom. 9,400 was one of the biggest opening offers we've ever had. 50,000 was a blow, undoubtedly a what blow which he will now capitalise on. Hello. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. You were pleased with nine four. Don't immediately jump to conclusions about this. Let it sink in gradually. Six thousand. Uh, not a bad offer to say. I've just lost them two. Not a bad offer at all. <coughs> To be honest with you, there's one thing that scares me. I've so many times seen people say, oh, you know, and bankers, right, some people just bat it away. And then suddenly you there, hey, boom, 75, boom, 100, boom, 250. It's not gonna happen to me, I'm not saying that, but you know, it is that easy, to, you know what I mean, guys? And we've talked about it so many times, but I'm feeling lucky today. I'm feeling very, very lucky. I'm ready for the question, though. Lofty, 6,000 pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah. Right. It's strong, Lofty. Is this going to be, however, the pivotal round? Let's get rid of that penny first of all, guys, eh? Suzanne, will you do me the honours of doing James's 22, please? I will indeed. Thank you, darling. Wish you well, James. Hope you're back tomorrow. Yep. Suzanne, thank you. Open box 22. Wouldn't it be great if it was the 1P? Oh, yes, please. Best of luck, Crofty. Yes! 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 Come on! Yes! <laughs> wipe it off, wipe it off. Get rid of it. <laughs> what? Oh, now, I wonder whether Suzanne has got the quarter million, the other end of the board. I play for a local football team in my local pub. That's my football shirt number. It's been my number all the time I've played. So I'm saving that one, and <laughs> we haven't opened the box, it's called, at pub I play for, where you uh, get a key, you know, you, you number of raffle ticket comes out, you get a key, you open box. I've twice won over £300 with box number four. Well, Patricia, we'll go with you then, gorgeous. Thank you, Patricia. Second box in this round is box number two. Good luck. Yeah! Yes! Get him! Come on! Can't believe it. OK. 
okey dokey dokey <laughs> Hang on, hang on. Let's just, just stay focused, Lofty. We're not there yet. All right, Mark. All right, Lofty. I'll go number 14. OK, we have to get to the next call without touching the top three. Thank you, Mark. Good luck, Lofty. Cheers, man. Just the right moment. Oh, Get in! Yeah! Yes! Come on! <laughs> Sorry. It's looking good. It's just the right round at the right moment. Hello? I've not heard you that subdued for a long time. Yeah. OK. All right, you've got him rattled. 9-4 uh, was the opening offer. Then where did we go? Uh, five... No, 6,000, sorry. Sorry, sorry. 6,000. OK. 18,000! I'm going to go to a break. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've ever thought I'd get on first off. Uh, oh, I'd be delighted. I'll go and set that in. <laughs> Mum, all right. You and Doug, and that's what I tell you, I'll get beat up. <laughs> Can I get her down here now? Is that OK? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Are you all right? Ladies, she's absolutely gorgeous, I'm telling you. <laughs> Take a seat. <laughs> Have a breath. <laughs> no, seriously, on a serious note, that is it. We never even expected to get off of that much, did we? You've just seen games turn around so so quickly, I and I just don't. <laughs> it's a lot of money. I know it is. What do you think? Tell the truth. I think. That, I don't know. It's fantastic, isn't it? It is fantastic. You never even dreamed it. Susan, £18,000. What's going through your mind? It's what they need, and it would make the life complete. Right. So this is a difficult personal decision. It is. It is. Decision. It is. Wow. What can we do to help? I've never been offered £18,000 before, and... We said, we said, I said to Kate before the game, I says, what do you think we need, you know, looking for a deposit on an house? Yeah. What, what, what do you think we need? That's it. OK. Um, I've never, ever seen people so upset at the thought of getting 18,000 pounds. <laughs> it's not that again, it's that turning it down and then going away. Cheer up! <laughs> yeah, but you know, I'm scared and all, I have... Been here a long, long time now, and I've never seen a board as good as that. In all the t that is better than Morris's board. That is better than Tom's board. That board is amazing. Yeah. I'm ready for the question now. Are you? Okay. One of our strongest game boards that we have seen for a very, very long time. So, Lofty, are you throwing away the chance of a lifetime? Or are you being an extremely wise young man? 
£18,000. Deal or no deal? Deal. And so, has he dodged the opportunity to be our first quarter millionaire? How clever you have been, Lofty, will be revealed to the nation after the break. Thank you, guys. Hi, June here again. You could still win the... the recap on this wonderful game. This place is really heavy with emotion. Far, far heavier than it has been for the last few weeks. He has probably one of the strongest game boards that we've seen for a long time, but because he wants a deposit for his house, as he says, he wants to get on the property ladder, he has decided to deal at £18,000, a significant sum of money. Play on as you would have done. I'd probably go. Simone, 15. Simone, open 15, and we would love to see one of the remaining power five. Thank you. Come on. Come on. 10,000. Yes! That would have been all right. That would have been OK. That, that, would, have that would have been all right. That would have been fine. That would have been absolutely fine. Next one, Lofty. Drew, 13. Drew, we want to prove that he hasn't thrown away the best opportunity of a life-changing sum of money that we have had in months. Thank you. Thousand, that would have been good. This would have been shaping up to be an excellent round. The third one, Lofty. Uh, seven, Carlton. Carlton, this has to be the quarter of a million, Carlton. Where you go, box seven. No! Oh. It would have been a fantastic round. It would have been... A brilliant round. You were still on course to life-changing money. Hello. The offer at this point, Lofty, would have been £36,000. Double where you went. Double the deal you took. You were three boxes away from £36,000. Can I just say to <laughs> Mum, what, what, what dream did I tell you I had? Tell them. £36,000. How many times? Five times. <laughs> you had a dream? Five times I dreamt I had a blank white canvas with loads of red boxes, no numbers on. It got down to a fiver and uh, 75000 and I had £36,000 offered to me. How many times have I said that? I cannot believe it. We now know, Lofty, you went one deal so too soon. Let's absolutely pray for you guys that this is now going to be one of those disastrous rounds. Where would you have gone now? I would have gone... ..between... Uh, John 21. John 21. Joan? Must be one of the big ones. It must be the quarter of a million. Please, please, please make this sweeter. No. This is an extraordinary board, Lofty. Next one, Lofty. 19, Becca. It's got to be one of the big ones, Becca. Really has. Yes. Where 
Where is it? Where is it? Richard, 16. Richard, quarter of a million, please. That will make us feel a lot better and that will lift the roof. Thank you. There you go, Lothie. 5,000. We would have got away with it in that round. I have got a horrible, horrible feeling, Lofty. Yeah. We know you went one too soon. 18,000 is yours, it's safe. And we're really happy you've got it. We're relieved you've got it. 36,000 could have been yours. How much more if you'd just gone on? He's cranking 48,000 oh, pounds. OK, I'm not trying to pour salt into the wound. Oh, yeah. We know that you could have had £30,000 more than the sum that you dealt at. But were you actually, Lofty, on your way to be our first quarter millionaire? If you manage to find the big numbers now, you can still beat the banker. Yep. You can still beat the banker. Yep, we've got that. That's what we got come to on, try Come on, guys, yeah, come on! <laughs> Come on. Okay. Come on. Seek and destroy. Where are they? I don't know if they've gone that way. Stevie I has been relentlessly happening. destructive to people's games. This At some scary. point, it's going to change. To be honest, I think I'd have gone with you, Fran 20, because I know she's a black widow. Fran, we want this to be the quarter of a million or the 75,000. We have to find both of them in this round. Thank you. Oh, no, 15,000. Again, we would have been believing, Lofty, you were one of our greatest players ever and you were going on to mega money. Without a doubt, it'd be Stevie next. Doubt. Stevie! Quarter of a million, please. Seventy-five thousand. It's Come on, Stevie, do it's it again. Here. Do it again. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it. No. <laughs> no. Just at the point we wanted her to continue as the Black Widow. Lofty, we can't find the fifty p. Find the quarter mil. Make it feel better, Lofty. Peter, eighteen. Peter, please not fifty p. Well, now we're feeling a bit better, aren't we? Still could have 75 for. Oh, I tell you. You're a tricky chappy, aren't you, at times? <laughs> You've got 18 grand. You've got what you wanted. Hello. Thanks, guys. OK, now we're coming down. £22,000 at this point. We would have been in real damage limitation mode. £22,000. That's what this is 50p, guys. Eh? I think blue. <laughs> think blue. Lofty, first of all, thank you. You've given us an extraordinarily emotional game. You've got £18,000. It will be super sweet and, dare I say it, totally appropriate to the two of you. Yeah, it would. If it's the 50p. That's what I want. I do not want to find that you've thrown away a huge, huge sum of money. Are you ready? Yeah. The swap hasn't come. It's opening now. Yeah. Yeah. Come on! <laughs> Suzanne, would you please reveal the 75,000? Thank you. Thank you, darling. Yeah! <laughs> and then... Oh, is this going to be one of those emotional ends that gets no, me all... This no, this is going to make you all smile. All right, right. OK. Not totally correct. OK. 
Now, now, this is fantastic. My dad beat the banker. <laughs> He sold a box that only had 50p in it <laughs> for £18,000. And there's only one thing that we can all say to that. Come on! Come on! Thank you so much. Fantastic. What a game. What a game. You're going to remember that game for a long, long time. And now it's your chance. It's £500, £1,000 or £5,000 could be yours right now if you've called us. What's your name? Emma. Emma, would you please say one, two or three? Two. Thanks very much, Emma. Box number two, will you please open it? And it's £1,000. Would you open the other two, please? Five hundred there, five thousand there. Well done to you. Congratulations. A thousand pounds is yours. He's got eighteen thousand pounds. Oh, as he would say, he's well made up. What an extraordinary game, and it was just the game that we needed at this point in the week. The banker has just been so dominant. We've had three weeks without anybody significantly beating the banker, and that was a great result. Yeah, Lofty could have gone away with more money, but in the end, he really did genuinely beat the banker, and he's happy with 18 grand. I hope you're happy with the show, and I hope you'll be back tomorrow when you could win, of course, double... Wednesday, £10,000. See you then. Bye-bye.